In this uh, lesson, we will uh, introduce uh, lesson 11 on independent personal pronouns, demonstrative pronouns and adjectives, and how they are used. First of all, the independent personal pronouns. And here you have a chart of them. You have who, which means he. It could also mean it if it's the antecedent is a, a thing rather than a person. He means she. Ata means you. Ot means you feminine singular. And then ani or anoki means I. And then you have haim or haima, which means they. Hain or hainna, which is they feminine plural. Uh, atem, which is you masculine plural. Aten or atena, which is you feminine plural. And then anaknu, uh, which means we. Again, notice that you have four different types of yous. Masculine versus feminine, singular per versus uh, plural. Now, I think I shared with you my one little ditty on how to remember the first couple of them. Uh, who is he, he is she, me is who, and woe is me. Uh, who is he or it, uh, he is she or it. And then we've had the interrogative pronoun who, uh, me is who, and... Um, well, as me is what you say when you're trying to learn all this stuff. Now, you don't really need these pronouns when you have verbs in the perfect. But they can serve as subjects of sentences when there is no verb. Or they can be used with a verb to emphasize the grammatical subject. So here you have a, a phrase out of Genesis 14:18, uh, "Vahu uh, kohen le uh, el elion," and he is a priest uh, to God Most High. Uh, and again, uh, it's a verbless clause, so it could be he is or he was. Either way. Or you could have it with a uh, verb in the perfect to emphasize the subject, Anoki Yarati. Uh, I am the one who went down. I myself have descended. Uh, that's, uh, you don't need the, uh, the, you know, the T ending on the uh, Yarati indicates first person singular. But uh, by putting the pronoun in, it is making the subject emphatic. So that's uh, a brief introduction to independent personal pronouns. Demonstrative pronouns. <clears throat> you have two types of demonstrative pronouns, the near demonstratives and the far demonstratives. Near demonst demonstratives would be this and these. Far demonstratives would be that and those. The near demonstratives are as follows. Uh, ze is this masculine singular. Zot is this feminine singular. Sometimes with the article it will show up as hazot. And with the article it will show up as haze. And then uh, the common plural is elle. Or with the article, it would be ha -ele. The far demonstratives are actually the same as the independent personal pronouns. So here you have that is who, and with the article ha -hu, uh, that's the same thing as we saw as he. So the independent personal pronoun does double duty. It can be either he or it. Or it can be that as a demonstrative. Same thing with the uh, feminine singular, uh, which is uh, he. Uh, 
The feminine singular he means uh, either she or it, feminine it, but it can also mean that feminine thing. And then the plurals are also the same as the independent personal pronouns. Uh, the masculine plural is haim or hema, and it can mean either they, masculine plural, or uh, those. And then uh, the feminine plural is hena, and uh, here you see it, hena. And with the article, it would be hahena and hahem or hahema. Uh, Now, how do you use the demonstratives? Well, a demonstrative can stand by itself and be like a grammatical subject of a verbless clause. Ze habayit, this is the house. There is no is, but you supply it to make sense out of it. Notice that ze is the masculine form. Bayit is a masculine noun. Zay lacks the article, habayit has it, and uh, that's a good indication that this is to be understood as a sentence. Not this house, but this is the house. Or you can say, zot isha tova. Zot, this, uh, is isha tova, a good woman. And zot is the feminine singular word for this. And uh, Isha, woman, is feminine and singular, and Tova goes along with that. Or Zot Ha'ir, this is a city. City, even though it doesn't look it, is feminine, and therefore the pronoun must be feminine. And then Ele Ha Anashim Ha Hakamim, uh, these are the men, the wise ones. These are the wise men. These are the uh, sages, you might say. But then the demonstratives can be used as adjectives, modifying nouns. So if you want to say this king, you'd say hamelik hazeh, the king, the this one. Just like if you wanted to say the good king, it'd be hamelik hatov. Uh, so the adjective will follow the noun that it modifies and agree with it in uh, gender and number and degree of definiteness. And so here it agrees with uh, gender Z is masculine, melek king is masculine, uh, number singular and singular, and degree of definiteness. Uh, they both have the article. Or the next example, that girl. Han na'ra hahi, uh, the girl, the that one, meaning that girl. Again, agrees in gender, he is feminine, uh, na'ra is feminine, number, he is singular, na'ra is singular, and definiteness, they both have the article. Or if you make it plural, those books, uh, hasafarim, Ha uh, heim, the books, the those ones, meaning those books, again agrees in gender, masculine plural, masculine plural, number uh, plural, and definiteness both have the article. Now, if the noun is also modified by a regular adjective, the normal word order is noun, adjective, demonstrative. So if you want to talk about this righteous judge, you will talk about the judge, the this one, uh, the righteous one, the this one. Hashofet, Hasadik, Hazeh. I just noticed that this is a typo. That should be a pata there. So, <laughs> as is my custom, I will send that off to report a typo. So I will ask uh, Lagos to uh, fix this by telling them that the correct form should be uh, this one with a pata 
what, rather than that one with a serrae. But anyway, uh, it's uh, Hashofet, Hasadik Hazay, uh, the judge, the righteous one, the this one. Or these good women, it would be Hanashim, the women, Hatovot, the good ones, Ha'ele, uh, the these ones. Uh, and so it would be uh, Hanashim, Hatovot, Ha'ele, again, uh, the noun, the adjective, the demonstrative. And we will finish this in the next uh, video.